in Israel, Gaza, uh, the Hamas has basically rejected Israel's a proposal for a ceasefire, which included 35 days of ceasefire, uh, the release of uh, many of the hostages. We don't know exactly how many, but many of the hostages. And uh, the release of thousands, hundreds, if not thousands, of, of terrorists from Israeli uh, jails. The, uh, the Hamas has rejected that. They're suggesting a 135-day ceasefire, the release of many thousands of prisoners. And ultimately, the... Um, uh, you know, the withdrawal of Israeli forces from Gaza completely. Uh, Israel has rejected that plan, so, so far uh, there is nothing in place, there is no ceasefire, there, there does not seem to be much progress towards a ceasefire. There are still 136 hostages being held uh, in Gaza. Uh, now, of the 136, uh, it is, Israeli intelligence is, is pretty confident the 32 of them are already dead, and uh, that another 18 are very likely to already be dead. So uh, of the 136 hostages, probably 50, uh, something north of 50 uh, have already uh, been killed or um, uh, have died under captivity. Uh, and uh, the Israeli intelligence has indications of, I think, which, which hostages are likely to be dead and has notified, uh, notified families. This is not unexpected, and as I said right at the beginning, I mean, it's tragic and horrible and sad, but it's not unexpected. And then, as I said at the beginning of this, it, 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 Israel had to act as if this was the reality. Uh, it, it was the only way it would, uh, it would do what is necessary in order to, to bring Hamas um, you know, to destroy Hamas, to do what uh, the Israeli politicians have promised to do. So um, uh, we will see. We will see how uh, you know wh what the next acts are. Israeli um, defense minister has basically said that uh, Khan Yunus, they will continue to to clean up Khan Yunus with the remnants of terrorists, but they intend to move into Rafa. Rafa is the last large. Uh, Hamas stronghold. It is a large. It is a large population center now, with all the displaced people. Probably about a million people live in Ra uh, in uh, Rafa. It's it's tiny. It's very small, very dense. I'm not sure where the Israelis are going to ask the civilians to evacuate to. There's not much space left in Gaza, uh, but uh, there's no question that they can't uh, completely destroy Hamas without going into Rafah. Of course, what will happen is as they evacuate civilians, Hamas will evacuate with them. The Hamas leadership will evacuate with them. So we will see how long this takes. Uh, Israeli commanders are still talking in terms of months. Uh, Netanyahu gave a great speech today. I don't know if you saw it. Maybe it was yesterday, 18 hours ago. So maybe it was uh, late night here, but, but uh, today, Israel time. Um, he gave a great speech uh, and uh, committed to wiping out Hamas, committed to all the right things, committed to uh, re-educating, uh, you know, uh, uh, Palestinian children in the future uh, as, as a, a, once a, 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 in the post-Hamas uh, Gaza Strip, committed to uh, Israel uh, managing the security of Gaza Strip forever, or at least for a long, long time. All of it, good stuff, good stuff. Now... He just, for once in his frigging life, he just needs to live up to his great speeches. It was a good, powerful, strong speech. Can he live up to it? Don't count on it. Don't count on it. You know, maybe, maybe. After all, they've probably done better than I would have expected so far. So, uh, although those ceasefires in the middle released 100 hostages, so that's good, but, but, probably prolong this more than necessary. Uh, all right, uh, let's see. Uh, what else do we want to do? Yes, uh, so that, that is Gaza. Uh, Israel has not taken many casualties in the last week or so, um, really almost none, uh, which is surprising and interesting and suggests maybe that they have been quite successful in uh, immobilizing or neutering 
the, uh, uh, the, the Hamas, uh, uh, Hamas uh, uh, fighters uh, in, uh, in Gaza. So uh, they need to continue. They need to be more aggressive. Uh, Israeli troops are in the, um, uh, in the underground um, uh, tunnels. Uh, they are hunting down Hamas leaders uh, unsuccessfully so far. They're f looking for the hostages unsuccessfully so far. But they are inside the tunnels. There is tunnel warfare going on in addition to everything else. But they are, um, uh, they are talking about expanding the operation uh, to take over, basically to put under Israeli authority the entire Gaza Strip, which needs to happen if they're gonna, if they're gonna win this. Uh, all right, moving on. I mean, uh, they're still back and forth in Lebanon, uh, but nothing really is evolving there yet. Uh, I think Hezbollah in Lebanon is clearly wants to avoid a war, but it doesn't want to be completely quiet. Uh, the Houthis still attacking ships. Uh, whatever the U.S. is doing to the Houthis continues to be ineffective. Uh, I, I, I will point out a new story I saw this morning about the Houthi court, the court of the Houthis in Yemen, sentencing 13 homosexuals to death for the crime of being homosexuals. Um, queers for Houthis are going to be are going to be challenged, um, uh, maybe challenged in their support of the Houthis moving forward, but maybe not, right? Maybe not. Don't let facts and reality and uh, your own self-interest intervene uh, when uh, when you can hate on uh, on Jews, when you can hate on Israel. Uh, and when you can, um, I don't know, when you can pursue sacrifice for the greater good.